Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here's part three to my Black Friday haul, craft haul if you wanna be technical about it. Um, this haul is a yarn haul from Michaels. This was purchased the days leading up to Thanksgiving and Black Friday, but they still had Black Friday deals going on, which is why I made the purchases. So everything was buy one, no, buy two, get one for free. So I got some more red and green for Christmas blanket. If I would just get my butt to making it. I don't know if I have another red in there. I think I got two greens and a red. This is the Loops and Threads brand. This is the Michaels brand. The Soft Classic Yarn. Um, you get 354 yards in here. It's a 7 ounce ball. 5.5 millimeter hook is required to use it at minimum. Um, soft Yarn. I like the Loops and Threads brand. Um, I've been pretty impressed with them. Um, I heard about them through another um, yarn crochet channel here on YouTube, uh, Juan the Yarn Addict. Um, I know he's a little bit new, but I don't even consider him new. He's got the subscribers. He's doing very well for himself and his channel. I'm very happy for him. Um, I love his channel. I am obsessed with his channel. If you love crocheting, even if you like knitting, um, he talks about everything about yarn, yarn hooks, crocheting. Um, go check him out. Um, I love his channel. He he has a couple videos up so far. He's doing really well. His channel's doing phenomenal. So I have him the notification bell on every time he posts a new video. I'm on it. <laughs> I love it. I heard about loops and threads through his channel, and as soon as I heard about um, loops and threads from Michael's um, through his channel, I had to go pick myself up some. So do they even? Yes, they have colors. So the green is called Ivy. And the red I got was called Bright Red. So I just wanted to pick up, I already have, you know, you guys saw the Hobby Lobby haul that I did that I got the greedy, uh, the greedy, the glittery um, red, green, and white yarn. But I just wanted some solids. So just to pick up an extra couple. I have another project that I am working on with yellow and gray and brown. And I picked up some of these. These are also loops and threads. This is the Impressions yarn. This kind of reminds me of Puzzle yarn, um, Premier Puzzle yarn. Um, you can find it at Walmart. You can find it on the Premier website. Um, and it's different prices everywhere you go. I think it's a little bit cheaper at Walmart by like a dollar or two. So I pick it up. I get I get in where I fit and I pick it up where I can. Um, or anything that is similar. And this is as similar as it gets. I love the texture of this. This is soft. This doesn't, it, it may look rough, but it's not definitely rough. Um, and this is called Brown Mustard. And there's 246 yards in here. So this will get me a little ways. Uh, probably have to go back and get more depending on how big I make the blanket. But you already know me. I make big blankets. So, and to go with this, I got the color Mustard. From the Loops and Threads Soft Classic. I got two rolls of these. I also have another roll um, stashed somewhere. I had only picked up one roll at the time. And then when I went back for the sale, I picked up another two. So I think these match pretty well. I'm pretty I'm not that bad at matching. I think I'm pretty good at uh, max, mixing and matching my blankets pretty well, the colors. So. And let's see. I picked up three rolls of Loops and Threads Charisma. This also reminds me of Puzzle Yarn. It's a little bit thicker um, or fluffier, however you want to put it. It's, it's got a fluff to it. Um, and this is only 109 yards. So I only got the buy two, get one. But I to make a blanket, I'm definitely going to need a couple more balls of these and I didn't think they had that many left so I'm gonna have to wait till they restock and go back and get more but this is like a lavender and gray and white in it it's really pretty um and this is an eight millimeter hook I probably wouldn't use an eight millimeter hook with it I don't feel like it's necessary but um 
I'll just try my sizes out and see how it goes. And to go with that, they didn't really have a lavender, but they had this color purple. Amethyst. Loops and Threads Soft Classic. Really, really soft. I don't think it's too bad. I think it looks good. It's like a darker solid with a lighter stripe. And I got a gray to go with that. A nice light gray. Ooh. And this gray is called light gray. <laughs> 354 yards for this. Soft classic loops and threads. I think it's not bad. I don't think it's... I think they go pretty well. I don't know. That's a gray. Here's the purple. Not bad. I think it would look like a good blanket together. You got a little bit of the light and the dark. I think it looks great. So... That's all I did. I did get a neon yellow yarn that I was trying to make a work hat out of. Because as you know, I am a crossing guard as my second job. And most of the gear I wear while working out in the middle of the road is neon yellow. So they didn't provide me with a knit hat, like a beanie for winter. So I decided to make myself one. And it was my first hat I ever made. I was following along on YouTube and it just came out too big. It is huge. It could fit like an eight foot giant's head. It is a really big hat. I know it's supposed to be a baggy hat, but I, it's just, I don't think it's supposed to be as big as it did. I don't know where I went wrong. It was my first time trying to make a hat. So I just bought a neon yellow hat off of Amazon. <laughs> so not saying I won't try hats again. Um... But right now, I'm going to stick to what I'm good at, and that's blankets. And so far, I'm doing okay at making my own clothing. I am almost done with my black crochet sweater. Um, already have one sleeve on, working on the second sleeve. And then I got to lengthen the shirt a little bit. And it'll be done. And then I can show you guys my first crochet sweater. So anyways, you guys, that's all I got from Michael's. I did quite a bit of yarn shopping. I didn't do as much diamond painting shopping this year. I did buy a couple. I bought a handful of diamond paintings, um, but not as much as I was hoping. Um, but I'm just going to say it. Um, the diamond painting sales, the Black Friday's going sales, I wasn't impressed. Um, I think they could have done a little bit better, especially the premium companies. I know some of you may think those sales were phenomenal, but I think they could have done a little bit better. Um, I said it in my other video. I mean, I think I'm not going to really name companies, but I'm pretty sure if you're a diamond painter and you were looking at the sales on some of the premium companies out there, name brand companies that we all know, um, it was like buy two, buy one at full price and then get one half off or maybe for free. I didn't I really don't like that type of sale because I'm still paying full price for something <laughs> I still gotta pay full price for one or two diamond paintings before I get an actual one for free um, I really don't like that setup. I'd rather get 40 50 percent off one painting Like each individual painting or an entire purchase. I think that's a, bit, a little bit of a better deal So I did pretty good with the yarn this year yarn sales were phenomenal. I think they were really good Joann's I did do some shopping at Hobby Lobby but that was a little bit before Thanksgiving um Michael's was pretty good I on top of the buy to get one um we at Michael's for the yarn I also had a 30% off coupon my total uh I think it's total purchase or each um original priced item either way other I got an additional 30% off my um my order so coupons upon coupons and discounts so that's what I look for um, so I think the yarn sales in the craft stores are where was where it was at this year I was just very disappointed with the online sales I just uh, I just wasn't happening I I got a, I got a couple diamond paintings uh, it's because my fiance bought them for me um, so it wasn't out of my pocket um, he shelled out the money for the diamond painting. So, you know, 
A lot of them are from AliExpress. One of them is a foreign premium company. So it's probably going to take about three weeks to get to me. So we're going to have to wait, you guys. I'm sorry for diamond paintings. We have to wait. <laughs> the yarn I could show you right away because I purchase at the stores. But unfortunately, we have to wait to do the diamond painting videos. But anyways, you guys, if you're enjoying my content, if you're a crocheter, if you're a diamond painter, you're enjoying my content and and you want to see more, don't forget to hit to the notification bell, subscribe, like, comment. I love talking to you guys in the in the um comment section. Um and if you're returning, thank you for returning and um still being subscribed to my channel and supporting me. Thank you. So without further ado, I'm going to go lay down now and crochet a little bit. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.